multimodality can be one of those subjects that feels hard to pin down. What is it exactly? Um, it feels like there's a lot of flexibility and play. And if you just Google multimodal or multimodality, a whole bunch of different concepts and ideas, definitions, uh, definitions from communications or rhetoric or writing or uh, computers and science. And all, all of these things kind of come together to create this massive idea of multimodality. And so what does it mean? In its most basic sense, multimodal means engaging you and your audience in more than one mode. Um, an easy way to think of mode is, is the ways that we create meaning. So sometimes we create meanings through sounds. Sometimes we create meanings through visual. You're watching a video right now. Um, sometimes we write things down. We use words. We use the space between each other. We use uh, our senses, tactileness, and, and, and even hunger or heat or pressure. We use all of these things to create meaning, and each one is a mode. So multimodal, in its most basic sense, is using more than one mode to co convey meaning, to communicate something. Um, and so, like right now, you're watching a video, you're looking at me, here's this guy, button-up shirt, a little plaid thing in this office. Why this office? Well, because it's my office on campus. But you're also listening to me speak and you're hearing the words and the way I go up and down and even the order of the words that I'm saying and whether it feels organized or free or structure, uh, the way that I'm looking at the camera or looking off at the camera. So, so even this video is multimodal. We're engaging each other uh, and I'm engaging with the medium in, in ways that are not just singly moded. That's a that's a hard and difficult and kind of complex way uh, to think about what we do. What I'd like you to think about, though, is this. So much of what we already do is multimodal, and now we're just giving a name to it. Um, even the way that we compose, even the way that we compose is already multimodal. So think about it. You sit and you write, or you stand and you write, or you take a break, or you eat. You eat at the same time that you're writing, or you watch TV, or you listen to music, or or there's a friend next to you and you guys uh, chat every once in a while. Um, part of what we're trying to do here, if, if everything we do is already multimodal, what are, what are we doing now? Part of what we're trying to do is to compose multimodally on purpose, to engage the process of writing in a multimodal way, and to uh, and to engage the artifacts, the products of composition, uh, in such a way that those things are themselves multimodal. So think about this. Ask yourself this: How can my project, if you're in my class, maybe you're working on a rhetorical map. How can my project engage you, the composer, the creator, the inventor, the thinker, the maker, and the audience in textual, oral, spatial, linguistic, visual, tactile, and so many other ways? How, how can your project deliberately engage people in ways that are more than one method of communication?